Hey there, nosy flockers. This is Nosy Ostrich, and if you are new, please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more animal content. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Very much appreciated. What will be on today's topic, you ask? Today, we will be touring around the world to shed light on the animals who are considered sacred. So put your seatbelts on and let's get ready to take a trip around the world. Are you ready, flockers? Okay, let's jump right into it. Our first stop lands us in Egypt. Can you guess what animal were sacred? If you guessed a cat, you are correct. Cats were sacred and emblematic of kings and queens in ancient Egypt. Cats were thought to have mystical powers and bring good fortune to their owners. Cats were highly prized as pets even though they weren't directly involved in any kind of animal worship. Many people thought that having a cat as a pet brought good luck and health to their home. People would go to extreme lengths such as wearing their feline companions in exquisite garments and perhaps even adorning them with jewelry. As a symbol of their affluence and power, certain deities were shown with cat heads. Bastet, sometimes spelled Bast, was one of these gods. A deity who wore a single golden earring and had the figure of a lady with a cat's head was Bastet. She was held in high regard as a goddess of fertility and joy who bestowed protection. Next stop, let's head over to North America, where we can pay our snake friends a visit. Throughout the history of Native American mythology, snakes have been held in high esteem, particularly among the Aztecs. The feathered serpent that was represented as Quetzalcoatl, one of their most prominent deities, was a creature that combined the features of a bird and a rattlesnake. One of the most common depictions of this deity in old folktales was that of its consuming humanity. For a variety of diverse reasons, Native Americans regarded snakes as sacred animals. The fact that they were able to shed their skin was a symbol of fertility, and they were also associated with the concept of rebirth. A fascinating fact is that the idea of snakes being revered as sacred animals originated in ancient India. This idea eventually spread to various Native American societies like the Aztecs. Traditional snake dances are still performed by the Hopi people of North America to show respect for snakes. These rites bring together the spirits of two serpents and revitalize the natural world's capacity for reproduction. Where are we heading next? Good old India is our next destination. Interestingly, different Indian tribes worship tigers for different reasons. Most indigenous groups believe tigers protect them. The Gons of Madhya Pradesh, Garos of Meghalaya, and Tulunadis of Dakshina Kannada, Karnataka, worship the tiger as their guardian. The Garos wear necklaces with tiger claws embedded in gold or silver for protection, and the Gons maintain the tiger's shoulder bone for strength. The Tamil Nadu Irula believe the tiger protects them from harmful spirits. Dongars, a pastoralist clan in Maharashtra, worship tigers as Wagdev or Wagjai to safeguard their sheep. For centuries, tribal people in India have worshipped Waghoba, a tiger or leopard god who protects the forest. Waghoba idols are hundreds of years old and are found in little tiger shrines and larger temples to other gods. Tiger safaris in India include visits to tiger temples, which guides prey before the excursion. The Goans call their large cat deity Wagro and have several shrines with antique idols. The Valip community in Vagragal, Goa, worships the tiger god two days after Ashadi and Holy Purnima. Before we pull off, there are two more animals that India believe is sacred. Can you guess what animal those are? It rhymes with pow and hog. If you guessed cow and dog, you are correct. The Hindu faith holds the cow in the highest regard. Like other animals, it was once sacrificed to the gods and consumed as food. By the 4th century BCE, the cow had become a vital component of religious ceremonies and it had become an honored and adored object in and of itself. Since its milk provides nourishment to all living things, it stands as a symbol of Mother Earth. Many Hindu myths and legends feature the primary god Krishna as a cowherd or the youngster who guards the herd. Nowadays, meat is not often eaten by Hindus, who make up about 80% of India's population. Religious beliefs prohibit the eating of beef. This notion has even made its way into the Indian legal system in the form of legislation outlawing the slaughter and consumption of cows, though no one has yet prosecuted an individual for eating beef. People of different faiths and those who advocate for secularism strongly oppose these rules. 
Many people view them as discriminatory and a violation of basic human rights because they target religious populations that permit the consumption of beef, specifically Muslims and Christians. Next, we have to visit our next animal, man's best friend, a dog. The Hindus consider dogs to be sacred animals and ones that protect their ancestors. Unlike cows, dogs are involved in animal worshipping rituals in Hinduism, especially in India and Nepal. Not only do they worship dogs, but they also give them a high status, celebrating them every year in their renowned Hindu festival, Tihar. The celebration lasts five days and takes place around October or November. Their animal worshipping ritual happens on the second day, known as Kukur Tihar. They believe that Yamaraj, the god of death, sent dogs as messengers, allowing these friendly creatures to establish special bonds with humans. Parades are made for dogs on that day, where the little furry buddies walk proudly wearing colorful collars around their necks. Okay, flockers, time to take flight to our next location, which is Turkey. Because most Turkish people are Muslims, animal worship isn't a big element of their ceremonies. However, that didn't stop them from elevating certain creatures and holding them in great regard. And the gray wolf is one of them. Even after the rise of Islam, wolves remain sacred animals in Turkey, and Turkish folklore is rich with wolf stories and myths. Gray wolves abound in Turkey's Asian region. The Turkish not only revered wolves as sacred animals, but also made them the national mythological symbol. They believe that wolves represent honor and strength, both of which they value as a nation. Hey guys, hope you are learning a lot while we're on this extensive road trip. We're not quite done yet though. It's time to head to Greece and set eyes on the bull. The Greek culture has many sacred creatures that played important roles in molding its history and folklore. Although donkeys, goats, serpents, and lions are all sacred creatures in Greece, the wild bull is by far the most prominent. People in ancient Greece worshipped the bull, conceiving it to be a bodily embodiment of Zeus. In various mythology, Zeus transforms into a bull, and this animal was considered an emblem of the god. People saw the bull as a sign of strength because of its powerful body. They also believed that its blood contained mystical characteristics that could heal and offer power similar to that of the bull. Where do we head next? Time to go to the Middle Eastern and visit a specific goat. This breed has even been named the world's most beautiful goat. It's also found in May parts of Saudi Arabia and Pakistan. Syrians regard Damascus goats as sacred creatures for a variety of reasons. Not only does the animal have a cute appearance, but it is also noted for being quite generous. When these Damascus goats are well-fed and cared after, they produce an enormous amount of milk. Female Damascus goats, on the other hand, are famed for giving birth to triplets and quadruplets, proving the adage, the more, the merrier. I don't know about you nosy flockers, but I had enough of being nosy for today. Hopefully we won't get jet lag when we return home, fingers crossed. But before we go, we have to make our way to our last destination in South Korea to see what animal is valued. If you guessed tiger, you are correct. The Korean tiger is one of South Korea's sacred animals, representing superiority and power. This explains why the tiger is depicted as a winged beast in numerous folktales and historical stories and why it is important in Korean mythology. Tigers have roamed freely through the jungles of South Korea for millennia. People dreaded them because of their great strength and keen fangs, and they tried to avoid encountering them as much as possible. Tigers were not only feared but also revered in South Korea, which is how they became sacred animals. South Korea likewise thought that white tigers could fight off evil spirits and so protect mankind. Whoa, what a trip, right? I hope you enjoyed our trip and hope to see you on our next flight. Comment below what was your favorite place we visited. Are there any animals you hold sacred or feel should be deemed sacred? If so, let me hear your thoughts below. That's all for today. Until next time, nosy flockers. 